I'm not too much of a at all. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, well, look out for the monkey man, man. man, man. What? The, 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 the book! The book! What about the instructions? Oh, yeah, the book! Yeah. The monkey man says here. Uh, a three-headed glebe, six-eyed cleavage, no, no. three-thighed uh, snark, no. uh, six-headed orc, no. four-headed orc, ah, two-headed orc. Yeah, oh. that's it. Oh, well, what does he say to do? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, to dispose of a two-headed orc, uh, jump on down three times, roll a head of cabbage, and giggle. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. obligation is to his kin folk. Right. And because it's better to have a brave death than a cowardly life. Right. right. And besides that, they killed our golf cart. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Today we are club, punk. Oh, uh, the chickens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the chickens. The chickens. The chickens. We used to be called like the fearful four, and we also used to be called like the cowards. Uh, yellow, yellow, like yellow, that. yellow The belly. yellow belly. Yeah. Okay, which of you wants to fight me? Well, we, we all want to fight, Jeff. I'll take you all on. No, uh, because... Because uh, whatever... We can't... We can't uh, uh, it's uh, against... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, against club rules. 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 You rules. See, whatever rules. 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 a member of the club gets in a tense situation that demands courage, valor, honor, and everything, yeah. uh, it's his loyal duty as a member of this club to chicken out. Chicken out! Hold it. I've had enough. What? Man, I've had enough. I'm going to tear you up. Oh, no, oh, no. no, no. Did... Hey, remember your plans. You're a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. No, it's on. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I want to thank you for saving me before, because I nearly lost my temper, yeah. and I didn't, I... He was going to murder her in the tower, a remote castle protected by a scary forest and a mo moat and an impenetrable dragon. What kind of dragon? An impenetrable dragon. So what are you going to do, Peter? I'm going to miss her when she's gone. Hello, buddy. I'm here in enemy head headquarters. They have harmonic destructors here, like we do on Zlobnik, and when they use them, they net terrible and odd, horrible sounds. They also have insufferable torches here on Earth. Whenever a pussycat cries, they tear off its head. Definitely not. Then they holler in its ear. And then they put the head back on the body. I don't know how it stays alive. Mickey? Mickey, who are you talking to just then? No one. Well, well you're acting very strange, you know. I'm not acting strange, I'm acting perfectly normal. There's nothing strange about me. <laughs> Don't throw that cat's head again, I can't stand it. Who's that? No. Who's that? Will you guys please quit scaring each other and turn on the light? Ah! Um. <laughs> Hey, listen, Davey should have been back by now, guys. I'm scared. Oh, don't worry. I got a telephone number before we can reach him. I'll call him. <laughs> I think Davey's in trouble. We better go help him. All right. That's the one called Magic Fingers. Yes, yeah, Magic Fingers. I'd like to report our money's been robbed, stolen. Are you willing to sign a statement to that effect? Of course. Of course we are. Right now. Give this to Mickey. Okay. Oh, Mickey? Mickey. Mike's in that. Huh. Hey, Mickey. Capital M. Capital M, take one line, 45 degree angle, 90 degree angle, that line, 45 degree angle, in the line. Got it. Oh. Uh, pencil broke. Oh, uh, what a shame. <laughs> Thank you. Now that we have a signed confession, you're all under arrest. What? What? The rest? Get out. No, no. Well, with the money I make from this gig, I'll be able to buy Christmas presents. Oh, don't buy presents like you bought last year. Well, whatever could you mean? Well, I mean a sport jacket you bought for Davy. Well, I thought if it were extra long, it would save money on the pants. And I mean a chemistry set that you bought for Mickey. <laughs> intelligence test you bought for yourself. What happened to your present, Mike? When I saw what you guys got, I wouldn't open mine until July. What was it? Snow skis. Okay, now what are you going to say to Ella May when you go marching into the wedding there to speak your mind? Well, go ahead. Well, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, uh, Ella May? Yeah, yeah, Judge. Honey? Yeah. I come to you a new man. I don't want no more feuding with your kinfolk. Well, I want you to be my wife so we can join together in a life of tenderness and warmth. What do you say? Buzz off, yokel. 
What have you done? You have ruined my engine! No, no, no. Nonsense. I haven't ruined your engine at all. Anything that I take apart, I can put back together. Now, do you have any needle and thread? Uh, how about some glue? Have a, uh, some clay? A band-aid? <clears throat> Spit on my finger? Destroy the British at Trenton. <laughs> Davy, you are British. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Davy, there's too much stuff in the boat. Nonsense. Boulder Dash, we have to be prepared. Boulder, it really is. There's too much too stuff in the boat. The... Launch the ship. Taking too much stuff. That's silly. Nonsense. Launch the ship. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Launch the ship, I say. Ah. Launch the ship. Launch the ship! Launch the ship! Launch the ship! <laughs> You're right! There was too much stuff in there. You say you saw the defendant, Mr. Jones, running away from the scene of the crime? Yes, I ah. did, yes. That's right. What do you have to say to that, Mr. Jones? Yes. I mean, yes. I admit I was running. But I was running away from a real murderer. A man in a robe and a white wig. Is that man in this courtroom? Yes, he is. It's the barrister Dolans. Yes, I admit it. Ah, it was me, but I was aided by his courtship, Peter Tork. Sixty years of service. Ruined. <laughs> but I won't take the blame alone. The real brains behind the crime was the witness. Dashing, debonair, Mike Nesbitt. <laughs> I never should open my mouth. I don't even know how to act like a woman. Oh, well, that's a cinch. I have here this book, How to Act Like a Feminine Female, and three easy lessons. Lesson one, all feminine females must learn to walk with small, delicate steps. Not so good. Lesson two, when a feminine female walks from north to south, her hips must move from east to west. A small, loud bell on each direction will help to teach this technique. Lesson three. The feminine female must glide like a swan when she walks with her head high, erect, and motionless. Best way to teach this is to place a book on top of the head. Maybe you'd rather use a, a pamphlet. Isn't this fun? Uh, now, let's understand this. You mean you're going to shoot us and keep him because of his face? Well, what do you think this is, chopped liver? <laughs> yeah, Easter, yeah. Well, it can't be you every week, Davy. <laughs> no, no, look, miss. You know, guns really never solved anything. They're not the solution to the problem. They're only a coward's way out. Wouldn't you rather talk, talk it over and, instead of hiding behind a gun? No. Why don't you give it to me? You can't do this, Mickey. Shut up, face! Here's your swords and your pistols. Oh. And the lyrics are some of the better-known pirate songs. I just hope you men are tough enough for this job. Tough? <laughs> Peter's so tough, his nails get rusty. <laughs> He's so tough, he loves the sight of blood that he pours ketchup on, on everything he eats. Even cornflakes. Thank you.